This is a very short introduction to the free software tool Google Earth Pro. It is intended to help sighting witnesses to show us exactly where they were, how they were moving, and what direction they were looking in. All very important pieces of information when investigating most sighting reports. Google Earth Pro is available for free for Windows, Mac, and Linux. We'll have a link below the video window that will take you to the download page. Once you have installed Google Earth Pro, just start it up and you will see something like this. This application has many cool features that we won't get into now, but there are just five things I would like to point out. In the upper left-hand corner, there is a search box. The search is smart and flexible, and you can search for a place name, a street address, GPS coordinates, and more. Over on the right, we have three control widgets, the eye direction control, the position control, and the zoom in and out control. The eye control has north marked on it with a letter N. This controls the direction you're looking in. Play with it a little and get a sense of how it works. Just below the eye control, we have the movement control that moves the vantage left or right and back and forth. Play with that control too. Below the movement control, we have the zoom control, which zooms in or out on the map. You can also use your mouse scroll wheel for that for same purpose. Finally, in the lower right hand corner, some useful numbers are displayed that we'll talk about later. I would like to use an example based upon an actual case that we worked a few years ago. One of the witnesses, the driver, told us she was in Taylorsville, Maryland, and turned right onto Route 26. Let's go to Taylorsville and get started. And there is the small town of Taylorsville in Carroll County, Maryland. And there we see Route 26, which passes into Frederick County on, to the west on the way to the city of Frederick. The area is mostly farms, vineyards, and pastures. It's a little hilly, but not much. We'll skip most of the details of the case in question, but the witness gave us enough information to determine where she lost sight of the object. There, as she was driving into a forested area. If in doubt, we can use Street View by grabbing this little icon and dropping it onto the road. As you can see, trees obscured her view to the left where the object was. Just before this tree line is a dairy farm on the driver's left, and we stopped there with the witness. She pointed to where the object was visible at that point, compared its size to the farmhouse shown here. So, imagine you have seen the same thing, but you are standing by the road. Using the dairy farm as a landmark, you should be able to recreate the direction you saw the object in and about how far above the horizon your line of sight was. To get just a little more sophisticated, you can grab the measurement tool from the toolbar, it's a ruler icon, and use it to draw a line in the direction you are looking. Make sure you have mouse navigation turned off. Don't assume you know the distance or altitude. You don't, but the direction is something you can pin down. You will notice a number in the dialog box called heading as you drag out the line. That is the number we need to know. Take a screenshot or write it down. Also, we need to know the lat and lon numbers in the lower right. At this point, we've probably covered it enough for now. 
If you can use Google Earth to get this far, it will really help us clarify some key information for the case. And once you get more familiar with it, you can use it for a lot of other things as well. We hope this video has been useful to you. If so, then please click the thumbs up icon below and also hit subscribe so you won't miss any more videos from API, including our series of case summaries, the API Case Files podcast, and our upcoming series of field investigator training videos. For more information on API, our cases, and our podcast, please go to apicasefiles.com. To report a UFO sighting, go to reportaufo.org. We hope to see you soon. API videos are released under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike License.